February 9th will mark the 100th day that the sisters and brothers of IUE CWA Local 81359 have been on strike for a fair contract from the hedge fund owned Momentive Performance Materials. Despite the financial gains the company saw under the previous contract, Momentive still seeks to roll back worker pay, retirement benefits, and what's most important for those working with toxic and often carcinogenic chemicals, Momentive is seeking to roll back health care benefits as well. Insomuch as my constituency crosses the boundaries of my district, so am I bound to follow and fight for their causes. And what that means on a federal level is watching out for attacks on organized labor's ability to fight for working families. I stand with labor at the burning barrel as a candidate and will continue to fight for working families once in office. On February 1st, Congressman King of Iowa introduced to the House so-called right-to-work legislation. This is a thinly-veiled attack on the labor movement in America, cynically framed as a way of helping workers. The effect of this legislation would be to allow for workers to attain the benefits of union representation without the requirement to pay dues. This deprives unions of the funds they need to provide that representation in the first place. You can find links to the bill in the video description. In addition, there's a briefing paper by the Economic Policy Institute which illustrates that in so-called right-to-work states, we see the combination of lower wages and a lower likelihood of employer-sponsored health insurance and pension plans. Let me be absolutely clear. Right-to-work is wrong for workers. Thanks for watching. You can join us at nelsonfornewyork.com. Please remember, while financial donations are always appreciated, a like and a share go a long way to strengthening our grassroots movement. Thank you.